Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss about how to be very productive using the Surface Duo. There have been so many reviews about Surface Duo and when you look around into YouTube channel, you would see uh, so many videos speaking about Surface Duo on its feature or its uh, bugs or many of its uh, other feature comparing to a smartphone. But this video is a bit different. You will learn how to make it more productive. I've been using it for almost two weeks now and there are a few uh, hiccups or the bugs which are already there. But in spite of that, it performs very well. I didn't, fee uh, I didn't have any major showstopper or any uh, major issues which stops me from using it. I'm using it day to day. So while using it, I learned to know how to make it more productive using a dual screen. Uh, my intention of using the Microsoft Surface Duo is uh, basically for a more productive usage than uh, using it as a single screen on other mobile. So if you can see here, this is my wallpaper and that's how it is now. Uh, let me log in and show you what are the features which I have enabled or how to make it more productive as a dual screen. When you log into the Surface Duo on the home screen, you usually see uh, this kind of a home screen when you just log in. I have modified few of the icons to make it suitable for me. Let's go into that later. But first, to make it more productive, uh, my thinking about the dual screen is that uh, I don't want to see more content, but I want to see double the content, which means that the left side of the screen is uh, always something which reminds me of uh, the day to day activities and the right side of the screen I would have all my apps. So that's my major thinking. Uh, comparing to the other uh, dual screen mobile or the devices, uh, the dual screen which I'm thinking on the Surface Duo is that the content I see is the double the content, not just that I see more uh, bigger content. To see a bigger content always I just go for my normal monitor. I don't want to see some bigger content like don't want to see YouTube in a big screen which I can do it at home at any time. My thinking is always to be productive, uh, do more uh, to 2x of the activities than uh, seeing more. So with that concept I started customizing my Surface Duo and end up having a more productive screen or more productive uh, on a day-to-day -day activities. The first and foremost which I did to make it more productive is that I completely want to change my home screen. So you can navigate here. You, when you see here, there are four uh, kind of a screen uh, which are there in the Microsoft launcher. What I did was I completely deleted one of the screen to be here. So which means that this screen becomes my home screen always. You can see here, uh, I deleted one of the screen and this is my home screen always. So every time when I open, close and open my Surface Duo, let me close it and open again, log in. So every time when I close and open, this is my home screen always. On the left, uh, I would always have the glance, at a glance, later I show you what are the components I have added, at a glance. On the right, I would have all my uh, app, which, to, which is to be added there. And you can see here, I have removed all the default grouping icon which comes along with the Surface Duo. And I grouped it such a way, uh, I, it suits my need. And you can notice that the time which I have, uh, the default uh, clock which I have, I have removed it. I later add you what is the clock which I need to see. So I removed the search component and I, removed, I completely removed uh, the default settings here. So this is my home page always. The one other settings also I have done is that I went into the settings and in the display, I set the display size to be very smaller. You can see here, this is a small size I can go. Why? Because you can see more content in the screen. And the font size I set it to default. And this I did uh, especially to see more content on the left side. So that's about setting the screen. And on the home page, I added 
the clock component rather than the time and the weather. There are two different time component which you can see. This is the time and the weather. And the second component you would see when you scroll down, there is a clock there. There is a difference between having a weather component and the clock component. Let me add the digital weather component here. If you see here, let me move this component a bit into. The clock component, it always have an alarm set in. So anytime when I set an alarm, I know uh, there is an alarm coming up. So that is one uh, feature which a clock component has, which a weather component, uh, I don't see that in the weather component. So now the clock component, I'm going to modify slight bit so that it uh, matches my overall design. Let me resize this. Okay. And let me move the games here. Yes. Okay. So now this would be my ideal home page for the Surface Duo. And every time when I open, I have my clock here. And you see here the clock component, it shows my next alarm. So that's why I choose this widget rather than the other uh, timer widget. And this makes me look handy that uh, the next alarm I can uh, have it have a look at it. So this is a what this is other customization I have done to make sure that uh, everything in place. So now let's look at the left screen of the duo which I have done on the glance. If you see here on the left screen. This is my most kind of a productive screen which I was looking for in any of the device. Every time when I open my Duo, I really want to know what is my today, today plan or the tasks. So it always stays on the left side of my screen. So every time when I close and open the Duo, it is already there. And all my apps on the right and I start working on my app, but still I keep seeing my uh, daily task on the left. You can see uh, I have my live ID which is ms is great dot on microsoft.com which I configured and when I go to edit this view you can see these three components are the one which I added. There is a separate calendar component which comes along with this. I'm not using that. That is a default Google um, widget which comes along but I tend to use the Outlook calendar, which is much more uh, easier. Why I'm using the Outlook calendar, it allows me to choose which email ID calendar to be shown on the widget. That's easier. The second one is about the mail, the recent email which I'm come, which it, which you can receive. You have a look up, look at the email always at, on the left. And the third one is the to do component that comes along with the glance. You can. I'll just click on edit. It's the same widget list of widget which comes in. So I just picked up from the Outlook. So you can see the Outlook and the to do. Outlook is here and to do should be here. Yeah, to do is here. I use these component and add it at the home page. So these component will allow you to choose which specific account you want to see on the left. Even if you have three or four accounts, you can choose which one to see on the left. And when, he, and when I receive any email uh, on the right side or the left side, there would be a notification sent and immediately you would see the new email coming up in the mailbox and you can act on it. And pretty much you can see what is the do, today's plan. And on the to-do task, you have a several options, whether you want to see my day, important plan, assigned to or flagged email. In my case, most of the time I work by the emails. The mail I receive, suddenly it becomes a task. So any email I receive, I change it to a task. In this scenario, if you see, I have one email which comes in, I have to act on. So I marked as a, I flagged it. It automatically comes in as a, a flagged item. So I will act on it later. And once I finish it, I just say I completed it, then it becomes uh, a completed task. So in a day when I open the Duo, everything is there on the left screen, which I can act on immediately. On the right, I have the apps, daily apps to work on. So I grouped it and it is easy and handy for me to work. So this home screen setup works out very well. 
and i've been using it for one week of the setup i my productivity is kind of uh, much better so the next thing i would show you about the dual screen is that there were so many reviews going online about the duo that compares to a normal phone but to be frank this is not a phone to be compared it is a device used for kind of a multiply your productivity so use it as a two di two different screen rather than just a single screen to stare at a big component big uh, content as you can see here i have a new email which is on the left immediately it shows the count of the 100 mail and when i tap on that you see how it opens in the dual screen so this is one of the good feature the surface duo has when you open an email on the left it automatically opens on the right and the email content is shown uh, directly on the right side and you can see the email content while you glance at on the left and in the email you can see there are several items or the comments which are mentioned and there is a uh, kind of attachment uh, added to it so this is the attachment of a powerpoint you see here how duo works on it this is one of the cool feature of the duo which i told you it is a productive it's a productive device so when i immediately tap a uh, document on the right side it automatically opens on the left and now i can start seeing the uh, powerpoint on the left while going through the comment on the right this is really a cool kind of a productive thing which i would say that the dual screen uh, you should see more productive thing so it says that uh, slide 3 check the content level which is 100 not good so i can directly go to the level 3 uh, and see here the slide 3 level level is 100 so i'm trying to do something there i click on the edit right away on the left screen and go to the third slide tap there and i start to edit let me uh, start editing it edit text and i change the edit text so the level is wrong maybe i change it to 300 okay done okay i finished with the changes then the uh, second comment is about add the linkedin so i go to the other slide which is the fourth slide i go here and start editing and similarly there is slide 5 i navigate to slide 5 and see there is a demo content just change the layout maybe i just change it to a uh, layout which is section header that's it so this is much easier for me that's it i change it so now i can just save this that's all the content on the uh, review comment is already done see how productive is that i'm seeing on the content on the right and the left i'm working right away there so now i can save my powerpoint and my job is done just send a email that's it so that's how uh, the productive device comes from so the next productive feature which i often use that uh, when i'm working on is that grouping on icon grouping two apps is one of the common feature everyone uh, has reviewed about it but it has its major uh, use case as well if you see here i have grouped a ride which is uh, with in a local singapore i've been using grab as well as the comfort so i grouped a grab and the comfort most of the time i was in a dilemma to check whether which one gives me a better price whether grab or the comfort based on the uh time plus the place i go plus the surcharge which they put in uh, erp to it so uh, there are several parameters which allows me to choose uh, which ride to take on i don't take grab always i don't take comfort always so the dual screen comes in handy that i can check the price uh, simultaneously on both the hail uh, riding so let me show how that works so i'm going to uh, open the app which will open uh, both our app in the same kind of two screens so now you can see here on the left i have the comfort app on the right i have the grab app so choosing the same kind of a destination i i immediately know what is the rate i can go so i can choose which one gives the best price or depends on my choice i can uh, book the app so this makes it more handy it is not about seeing 
just a bigger screen with the bigger content it's about how productive you are and how quickly you can uh, do the activities with the dual screen so think from that perspective and then if it suits you then this is one of the best device you could have for uh, maximizing your productivity in my case i was using a mobile phone before i switched to surface duo as a primary device for past 10 days maybe uh, initially i had some glitches to learn about the new os plus how it, how the device behaves and two three bugs which i encounter but uh, nothing start from uh, uh, using the device now i am almost using it daily uh, feels it much more uh, kind of day to day device uh, should be a better device with the coming update hopefully you found out your own productive home screen thank you so much for watching uh, please subscribe like share the videos if you are thank you so much